And while we certainly escaped the worst of what was the remnants of Debbie when it passed off towards the west of Connecticut, we certainly had our fair share of some gusty winds as well as some heavy rain. And if you were one of the 11,000 people who were without power during the peak of that storm, certainly was not having a good day, but most areas are certainly back online. Right now, though, we're dealing with phenomenal weather from start to finish. A live look outside in Hartford. I should say New Haven. Look at that. It's a beautiful shot there. 79 degrees. You're looking at the uh, Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge on the left hand side of your screen there and it's looking excellent out there. Part of the New Haven Harbor way off towards the right hand side of your screen. It looks very good. It's looked really good all day. Same deal up in Hartford, our capital city, a cloud or two out there. Some few high thin cirrus clouds not producing any rainfall for today. That changes slightly for tomorrow. It is not a big deal, but over the entire work week, it's our only chance to see any rainfall. Temperature in Hartford right now, 81 degrees, light breeze out of the south southwest at nine. Your almanac for today. Here's the temperature this morning below that 63. We're at 61 and our average high is 84. We were 85, so really can't complain about the weather we had today. Our dew points are very low, so that 85 felt like 85. It was a spectacular day on this Sunday. Temperatures out there right now falling through the 80s, 70s for many areas, 79 degrees down in Bridgeport and through Danbury, 76 up through Waterbury, 78 in Torrington and 77 degrees in Salisbury. Any plans you have outside this evening go right ahead because these dew points are about as comfortable as it gets when we're in August. These could easily be in the tropical level of those 70s and it stays that way throughout the overnight hours and to the day on your Monday through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It starts to creep up by the end of the week and that's when our shower chances, at least statewide, seem to be increasing at least a little bit. Wind speeds across our area uh, 5 to about 13 miles per hour. These are sustained. The gusts today have been anywhere from 15 to near 25 miles per hour. First alert live radar scanning the state completely dry. Our dew point trend, you notice it stays very low, creeps up a little bit towards the end of the week, but it's looking fantastic from start to finish. Our chance for wet pause is very low tomorrow, but over the next three days, it's our only chance to really see any rainfall. Future cast plays that out very well. You see, when you wake up tomorrow, it's mostly sunny. In the afternoon, can't rule out a few isolated showers or sprinkles across our state. It clears out of here by sunset tomorrow and throughout the overnight hours. It looks good, and that lasts even into our Wednesday, as well as our Thursday, and even most of Friday as well. Tropical uh, outlook. We're watching an area right now. This is a potential tropical cyclone number five. It can form anywhere in this area, but right now it's way off farther towards the east. There's some indications of spaghetti plot is one of the the models that kind of shows us each model gives us a different run the, the main uh, idea is that it stays off farther towards the east but we have to watch it see where it goes plenty of time to do so at least a week out forecast lows tonight it's cooler 55 to near 60 tomorrow is 75 to 80 even a few degrees cooler than today your first alert seven day forecast shows those 80s through thursday and friday next weekend is really our next chance at any showers Cooler overnights, temperatures along the shoreline, upper 70s and lower 80s as well. But until then, Bryant, it looks amazing out there. Very excited about this forecast.